growth is about fostering growth and development, while ensuring that natural assets continue to provide the resources and environmental services upon which all being depends. Green growth indicators chart the progress that OECD countries and G20 economies have made since the 1990s. These indicators are available to everyone on our data repository, OECD.stat. This video will teach you how to access them quickly. Let's get started. From your browser, go to stats.oecd.org. On the left tab, click on Environment. Choose Green Growth, then Green Growth Indicators. You can either choose to see all indicators, only the headline indicators, or pick from one of the four groups. Let's look at the first group, Environmental and Resource Productivity. These indicators are used to see if countries are becoming more efficient in using energy, other natural resources, and environmental services. The indicators in this group reflect key aspects of the transition to a low-carbon, resource-efficient economy. For example, we can see here how much GDP each country generates for each kilogram of CO2 emitted. You can customize each data set by using the drop-down menu, located in the top left corner of the table. By hovering over selection, you can filter by country, variable, and year. The second group of indicators concerns the natural asset base. These indicators are used to see if countries are maintaining their natural asset base intact and within sustainable thresholds. The indicators in this group help identify risks to future growth arising from a declining natural asset base. For example, we can take a look at how much freshwater is abstracted per capita. The sidebar on the right provides details and definitions to enrich your understanding of the data. You also see the option to download the database documentation. The third group of data shows the environmental dimension of quality of life. These indicators reflect how environmental conditions and risks interact with the quality of life of people. The indicators in this group can show the extent to which income growth is accompanied by a rise in well-being. For example, we see that human exposure to air pollution by fine particulates is still dangerously high in most OECD countries. The fourth group of data is on economic opportunities and policy responses. These indicators measure the economic opportunities associated with green growth and how the economy responds to it. They help evaluate the effectiveness of policy in delivering green growth. For example, we can monitor the progress of environmental innovation compared to other types of innovation. If you would like to export a data set, just hover over Export in the navigation bar and choose from a variety of formats, such as Excel or CSV. These indicators are presented in a book, and a brochure presents the key messages. We would be delighted to hear back from you on how you use the data. Email us at env.stat at oecd.org. You can also share your best data visualization projects with us on Twitter. Make sure to tag us at oecd underscore env.